Good morning. It's the Drive to School podcast. I'm Pastor Goodman. I'm the content executive here at Higher Things. And joining me today is Patrick Sturdivant. He is not only marketing and development executive, but yep. uh, TikTok extraordinaire. And so... Uh, <laughs> You say TikTok extraordinaire, and, and really and truly, I just spend a lot of time on TikTok. Right, but um, if you add a title to it, it's not a waste of time. That's true. I, I'm doing, it's job research. Yeah, 100%. You know, job. like marketing heads up social media, so I have to be aware of every single TikTok trend that's going on. That's why it takes but, me so long to poop. Yeah. Yeah, um, exactly. 100%. 100%. <laughs> How are you doing, Pastor Goodman? I'm doing all right. Uh, so I was uh, I was doing some uh, some some market research. Research. Yep. And, yep. Yep. Uh, and like half of my market research feed was uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. What's going on? Yeah. So you know, uh, Pastor Hole, uh, my dear pastor and co-host for there and back in, we were, we talked about this uh, on our, uh, May 7th episode of there and back again, the, uh, you can't scroll through TikTok or really any social media, um, Facebook, Instagram, what have you without seeing, uh, Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. It's the trial of the year. Every year there's one trial. Sometimes it's a super, super political trial. Um, like last year, sometimes it's a pop culture trial and that one, this one kind of is Johnny Depp is suing, uh, Amber Heard for defamation of character um, because uh, she came out with an op-ed uh, a few years ago that accused him of abuse. Uh, and since his career has been uh, decimated, he will no longer be uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. He's lost all of his endorsement deals except one and no one will cast him in movies. Uh, so he's suing her and what has unfolded is a very, I Trust me, you're doing market research today. I was watching the APC TikTok feed. Um, Amber Heard's currently on the stand as of today, the 4th. Uh, it's a very sad retelling of a case of abuse. I think both sides are probably guilty. Uh, but it also has a lot to do with uh, the Eighth Commandment and harming your neighbor. Uh, and, what, and what that actually looks like for us as Christians, I think, too. So um, we we have this eighth commandment: you shall not bear false testimony against your neighbor. And our default with this thing is, well, if it's true, it's probably fine, right? Um, except this is not always uh, what what. Well, in fact, this is very rarely ever a, a right excuse. Um, the 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 parents and preschool teachers that you had, they lied to you when they said sticks and stones can break your bones, but words can never hurt you. Um, <laughs> words are awful, painful things, which is why we use them the way that we do. Uh, it, it's, it's been sort of a, a train wreck that nobody can stop watching. But at the same time, what we've really sort of noticed is there's this thing that we do with our words when we don't see justice being done in the world the way we want. Uh, we, we try and destroy somebody's reputation because we know just how precious it is. If I can't make you face punishment for the things I think you deserve. I'm going to make you face punishment for the things I think you deserve by, by saying right. all things that get go viral on TikTok. I mean, yeah. And I mean, it's broadcast the world over, right? Um, I think if you have consumed as much of the trial as I have, right? Um, I'm not bragging by any means, kids, please don't take it like that. Um, you, you would probably see that the two parties, right? Like there's, there's obviously some abuse here. Um, and I am, I'm not Ashley Sheldon. I, I don't, I'm not a, a mental health professional. Right. Um, but even in my, you know, idiocy, I can probably diagnose that. Um, but at the same time, like the way they've treated each other and the things that have been said and alluded to, um, as lies, et cetera, like regardless of how wealthy Johnny Depp is, right. Like, this trial, while he may never make another cent, he will long live in, in, um, in infamy and fame and money, and hopefully he's sober. Who knows? Anyways, um, so that this won't necessarily harm that, right? But at the same time, uh, for every kid who grows up with Jack Sparrow as their hero and loves Edward Scissorhands when, as they grow older and they learn about these things, his image will be forever tarnished. Right. Uh, and he'll forever be labeled those things. And in the same way, too, um, for all the young ladies who might have looked to Amber Heard um, as and I, I think it's important, too, that we don't necessarily take sides because 
no, nothing has been ruled, right? Um, to the young women who have looked to Amber Heard as a, a role model, et cetera, for standing up for herself, um, et cetera. Like from Johnny Depp's perspective, there's been a lot of mudslinging that way too. So it's just a very unfortunate situation. And it's kind of a glimpse into the state of man, I think, uh, is what Pastor Hole and I were, were kind of talking about on our podcast is um, – you, you take a step back and you look and this is what sin does. This is the, the, the ravages of sin, right? Mm-hmm. This is also, I think, why our Lord would talk about divorce as a sin. Um, it, it's one of those things that we, we are almost hard pressed to throw out there anymore in the church because, well, divorce rates in the church are mm-hmm. about as high as they are anywhere else in the world. Yep. Um, but it's called a sin because it breaks stuff because it, it hurts. What you're witnessing right now is um, bit by bit two people's hurt being exposed to the world, the way that they have suffered and the way that they've caused each other to suffer. It's not that this disqualifies them from salvation, but it's that this is something that should be cared for spiritually and not just laughed mm-hmm. at. This is something that uh, should be dealt with in, in compassion and mercy. Um, and, and this is something too, that, that, shouldn't be glorified. Um, it, it's one of those things where it, it's not a chance to sort of look down on somebody else's misery and laugh. It's also not a place to sort of say, this is a great way to sort of find the real you and, and do what matters. But it's it's a way to sort of evaluate that when you trap two sinners in a box together, regardless of who they are, sooner or later, they're going to sin. And, and so mm-hmm. the person who knows me as a sinner more than anyone else is my wife um, and, and vice versa. Uh, that That's then going to have to be met with grace because otherwise it, it's going to end ugly no matter what. Yeah. And I mean, and we talk um, in the church, we talk about um, divorce and, and in, in higher things, we, we've talked about divorce as when it's your one flesh, right. And you're ripping that flesh. We had this conversation a few weeks ago, um, just you and I, it's that ripping of one flesh apart and the pain that that causes um, it's, I feel terrible for them that, that ripping is like they were divorced years ago. Sure. You know what I mean? Now everyone gets to watch watch and I'm guilty. Um, My own sinful flesh is guilty of just watching for hours on end on TikTok. You know what I mean? Um, And that's painful. That must be painful. Them. I can only imagine um, how it feels to have that kind of dirty laundry aired out all those sins, all that, those breaking of, of the eighth commandment and everything else um, aired out. It also makes it really hard when we actually talk about you know choosing sides, because like, do you want the top half or the bottom half? Like, how do you mm-hmm. actually approach this thing? Yeah. Um, and um, inside of all of it, uh, again, when, when you sort of get to deal with that part, you get to say, this is somebody who is hurt and needs compassion, needs mercy, needs forgiveness, not needs to be made to feel less than. Um, yep. They already feel less than because half of them is gone now. So what they need is, is healing. Yeah, they need the word um, and they need the gospel for sure. Mm-hmm. It's so easy to sort of be marked by this wherever you go, even if your divorce or your parents' divorce or your friend's divorce has not been sort of publicly uh laughed at and and memed all over TikTok for the last couple of weeks, uh, even if it is just sort of your own private battles, uh, it, it's something that that will the way you see yourself define you for a lot of years to come, maybe even, maybe even forever. And so for, for those people, then uh, what we get to do as the church is get to say that who you are is the bride of Christ. You're not simply measured as less than now because of, of this, this pain that you have endured. You're not, uh, you're not even less than if you're the one who, who caused it, because that's something that Jesus forgives. It's so hard to see it that way, but it, this was what Christ bore the cross for. And so mm-hmm. ultimately, if you're going to pick sides, if you're going to choose winners and losers, rights and wrongs, all you're going to have is a dumpster fire where we watch a public trial on TikTok. But if you want to actually say, I am the bride of Christ, then ultimately you're still bound even to the person that you can't be in the same room with simply because we are bound to the same savior. And that might just be the best thing in the world we can say is, look, in the resurrection all of these things that cost us so many tears and so much sleep will be finally laid beside us but for right now what i can simply say is jesus died for you and that's gonna have to be enough for today Uh, but then again if if that's the worst thing that somebody can say about me i have got a lot to go on amen to that yeah for sure and I, i think we just we take comfort in those words and we take comfort uh in our salvation and 
we just continue moving forward. Day at a time. That's what baptized life is, though. It's, it's every day old Adam drowns. Every day a new yep. man rises. Every day a new algorithm. Yeah, it, that's a great point. And it all comes back together. Here for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having hey, me hey. on, Pastor. Hey, thanks for being here. Have a good one. You too.